Today I'm tracking bass for this album I've been working on with my jazz fusion group, The Inner Urge. The track in particular is kind of leaning more towards the cinematic rock genre, uh, and specifically on the second half, we all got together, we talked, and we decided that we wanted a really thick, full, fuzz bass tone for this section. And there's a few things you need to keep in mind when you're going for this, and so I thought it'd be a great idea to make a video here. I'm gonna be running through all the equipment that I'm using, the recording side of things, but it doesn't have to be done there. You can do it with a modeler, you can do it on your floor pedal board if you're trying to get this sound live. And of course you can do it in the box, on the computer, if you're just trying to record and you don't have all this equipment. You can do it a lot of different ways. The first big tip I have to share is that you wanna keep your completely dry, unaffected bass tone. In addition to that fuzz tone, you also wanna record the completely dry sound. Uh, and that is gonna be the foundation of the sound. That's fulfilling your role as a bassist, filling in the low end in the mix. When you go to dial in this fuzz sound, the second tip I have is that you wanna aim for much brighter, more trebly sound, and eventually when we blend them back together, you're gonna to see they work really well. I'm gonna be using my Eastwood Classic 4, which is a semi-hollow short scale bass. I've got round wound strings on it right now. I used half rounds for a while, which is a nice compromise between rounds and flats. But for this sound, I wanted it nice and bright. We've got these Filtertron style pickups. So that'll be a nice contrast from uh, what is otherwise all a P bass with flat wound strings on this record. Um, guitar pedal wise, I'm gonna be using this little pullout tray that I built a few months back. You can see the, the full video on that if you want to. Probably I'll just be using the Keeley compressor and the Chase Bliss ZVEX uh, collab that they did last year at the Bliss Factory for Fuzz. The recording situation is essentially I'm gonna head into, I've got these two Focusrite ISA-1 preamps, which are great value for the money if you need a preamp. It also has an output, a pass through here. So I'm gonna be using that as the key here. I'm gonna be plugging into the first preamp unit that I have, setting the gain for that, the trim, coming out of the amp output, feeding into the input of the pedal board. It's gonna feed through all the, the pedals, come out the output here, and I'm gonna patch it to the input of this second preamp. So these also obviously come with a, you know, a normal microphone style preamp. It's a super clean, warm, like Neve style sound and the direct input is just awesome. So you get two inputs, you also get a really high quality headphone amp and a, a nice view meter. They're, they're pretty cheap if you find them used too, so that's what I did for these. Out of the preamps, we'll be going into the Antelope Orion 32 Plus, which is an interface that I have, a 32 channel in and out interface. And yeah, I think we're recording at 88.2 actually, so I gotta get the session set up. <laughs> So check this out, on the fuzz factory we have a low pass filter. And in the notch setting that I'm using it at, it kind of selects the, the cue, the specific frequency that it's, it's notching there. It almost sounds like there's a, a cocked wall just kind of stuck at one setting. I'm gonna add in the clean sound of the bass. All right, so I've got the bass sound figured out. I decided to use the plectrum for this. It's gonna sound a little bit cleaner and a little bit edgier too with the fuzz tone. So let's hear the, the clean sound. Let's hear the fuzz sound by itself. It is like hilariously noisy, but it's gonna get crushed and gated and everything anyway. There's a lot of hiss there, but relative to how much noise it outputs when it's actually 
and you know you're actually playing a note, it's not bad. Uh, so blended together 50-50. I'm going to take the fuzz sound and lower it about to where I want it to. I have these grouped together, but they're, the volume is separated here. So this is about, I think, where I'm going to settle. I might use a little bit more fuzz than that, but that's generally the sound. So that's my first tracking. We got some stuff to clean up for sure, but it's a good place to start. So the fuzz bass is finished. I really like the way it's grooving and sounding with the drums and fitting together. I think I'm actually gonna overdub an extra part here, so a second bass part. It's just gonna be an identical line, uh, an octave up and played with my fingers for a slightly different sound. Chances are when I go to mix this, I'm gonna you know, be balancing different levels depending on different sections. Maybe I won't use so much fuzz in the slightly quieter bit and I'll probably boost up that octave up part for the final chorus at the end but just want to make sure I have everything I need before I get into the mixing phase. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was entertaining or educational to anyone that's trying to get this kind of sound on their bass. Uh, if you want to check out any of the equipment that I've used in this video, I do have affiliate links down below. So if you decide to purchase anything, it goes to support my channel. I earn a small commission, though it doesn't cost anything extra to you. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, all that stuff. You can check out a playlist of all the kind of like recording type videos that I have on this channel. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.